Attention all units. Report of a robbery. Shots fired. Proceed with caution. On February 18, 1981, Michael Siegel was in the wrong place at the wrong time. A college student studying to be a surgeon, Michael and his girlfriend stopped for gas at a convenience store in Austin, Texas. The doors of the store were like a toilet for me. On one side, I was a healthy, active pre-med student. On the other side, I was just another victim of crime and head injury. Mike was shot in the back part of the brain with a large caliber bullet. The bullet traversed the left hemisphere of the brain, the part of the brain which controls speech and language. Um, it then entered the area of the brain which controls movement of the right side of the body. Uh, the bullet then struck the front part of the skull and disintegrated. Given the path of this bullet, uh, first off, it's miraculous that Mike survived, but also he's had a return of speech and language, and he's able to walk and work. All of this is nothing short of miraculous. But what he's accomplished since that day is more than miraculous. It is a testament to the power of family, faith, hope, and determination. A wonderful thing happened to me. A woman changed my life forever. She was the hospital neuropsychologist who tested me and said, Mike, I know you have goals of returning to UT, to college, but let's face it, I just tested you. You're not going back to college. Why don't you focus on more realistic goals? I thought to myself, who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do? You don't even know me. I made it my goal right then and there to one day somehow return to college at UT. I could not uh, speak, I could not walk, but eventually, after a year and a half, I made progress enough to return to UT. After Michael's amazing recovery, he went on to graduate with the highest honors from undergraduate school at UT, then graduate school. He was initiated into the Phi Beta Kappa Honor Society and the National Leadership Honor Society, and was featured in Newsweek magazine as an unsung hero. After college, Mike married his high school sweetheart, Sharon, who was always at his side, and together they have one daughter, Sean. Today, Michael Siegel works as a social worker at Herman Hospital. Before I was shot, I wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon. If I can't help people with their broken bones, I can help people with their broken uh, spirit. And I try to help families in the ICU, all over the hospital, and all over the country, giving them hope, giving them uh, inspiration. I think it's important to share my story with other people who are hurting also. Over the years, Michael has shared his powerful message of hope with thousands of people. Whether the story is told in small intimate groups or large arenas, the audience is clearly impacted by his powerful message. He's always got these jokes and he's always got stories to tell us. And you know, and he's always, every story that he tells you has a meaning. When I first started working at the hospital, a boy was w brought into the hospital uh, in a coma. He had a car accident. His family was going crazy, trying to get him to wake up. They did everything, including the father screamed, wake up, wake up, you just won the lottery. But naturally, he didn't wake up. Until six weeks later, he woke up and said, first thing he said was, where's my money? <laughs> that family had a positive attitude. I've heard Mike Siegel speak on numerous occasions in many different settings. And each and every time that I leave, I come away with another nugget, another pearl of wisdom, and another story that helps inspire me 
and hopefully gives me the energy and the impetus to inspire and lead my staff. My wife uh, and I had a four-year-old daughter at the time and she said to me in the hot sticky summer day in Houston, Daddy, I want to go to the amusement park, to Astroworld. I thought to myself, are you crazy? But I looked into her big brown eyes and said, Sean, all right, let's go to Astroworld. We waited in line for the first ride for 45 minutes, inched our way up. I thought it was miserable. Finally, we got to the uh, ride, the attendant buckles us in and said, Sir, I could tell by the way you walk, you're disabled. We at Astral have a policy for disabled guests. They get to go to the front of the line and they get to, our, to, to ride twice. I didn't think much of it. The attendant walked away, but Sean smiled from ear to ear <laughs> and said, Daddy, thank God you were shot. See, Sean taught me a lesson that day. She taught me to always be positive. She taught me to always look for the bright side. I've heard about his story for a long time, so I really wanted to come and hear him. And his story is every bit as moving and as inspirational as any that I've ever heard. I feel privileged to be able to be here tonight and to listen to Michael. Michael's inspirational story has been featured in numerous Chicken Soup for the Soul books, as well as on countless television shows. His motivational messages include In the Blink of an Eye, which is perfect for students, Recipe for Success, and Change Happens, tailored for business, and the popular Recipe for Recovery, which resonates deeply with everyone who hears it. A couple of years ago, we invited Mike Siegel to present at our annual statewide conference. Mike presented a, a presentation to our general audience and, and his message of hope for our particular audience was one that was received uh, overwhelmingly positively. In fact, when we looked at the evaluations from our conference, Mike's were rated as the highest presentation that we've had in recent years. He received a standing ovation. Uh, and I will say that his question and answer session with the audience was particularly engaging. He used humor and compassion and made a real connection with the audience. I would strongly recommend uh, Mike for any kind of conference. He's a very motivational speaker. Michael tailors his message of hope and inspiration based on the composition of his audience. Whether the event is a conference keynote, university function, business event, religious group, or private gathering, Michael Siegel's uplifting motivational message will provoke laughter, <laughs> tears, thoughtful reflection, and spur topical discussions among the audience. To have Michael Siegel spread inspiration, hope, and humor at your next event, visit Michael online at inspirationbymike.com or contact the person who gave you this video.